How many races do we have here already? That should be our fifth, sixth one. Four more? Okay, five, five more. Four more. So you know, once in a while, just um, with the pH paper, like the last time that we did it, oh, with the pH paper, just see if it's neutral or not, because that's the seven, right? Has to be, okay. yeah, with the color coded, uh, the color coded uh, okay. pH papers on the other side. When I finished the the PhD, we always had the idea that you know research has to be you know one of the top priorities in a scientist, but also there was uh, the other side, which is the education part. So I was more oriented towards the education. So when I came to BMCC as a community college, you know, one of the priorities is the education and teaching of the students. But since I had the two both backgrounds, the research and the teaching part, I was trying to adjust or to see the manner how to couple these two ideas or two philosophies. So what I really do is I use research as a tool for education and teaching of the students. I have them, you know, doing hands-on experiments. I have them doing, you know, I give them all the confidence, the freedom to, to do, and then they will start developing new techniques, better ways to do one thing, and then that's, I think that that's the best way how to learn. The name of this experiment is pH effect. So, well, copper is polluted in certain lakes and oceans, and what we want to do is eliminate the copper. So, if in order to eliminate the copper, it occurs at a certain pH, and so we're trying to find out at what optimal pH does the highest absorption occur to take out all the copper out of the polluted waters. The first time I met Michelle was in a class when I was an adjunct. I was still an adjunct here, so she took a class with me. It was uh, General Chemistry One. At that time, you know, I met her. You know, I was a normal student, but I wasn't doing research. So when I became full time. She was still around because she, she had a two year right, stay here in BMCC. And then she came to me and then she told me, oh, Professor, you remember me? Do you, I, I'm interested in doing research. I was surprised that actually she came to me and then she asked me, do you have something you know, to do? Because I see you here in the lab. And then after that, I knew her and then we start building this, you know, the training. She called her friend who is also in, in Hunter College. And then they both joined my lab. And then after that, more and more, you know, kept coming in. And then the group, the first semester, I think we have like five people, which is kind of surprising because, you know, normally the, in, you know, for me just for, to be the beginning, to have five people is a lot. From zero to five, you know, in less than, than four weeks was a lot. At the time, I just really wanted to get my hands on something Personally, I wanted to um, just be in a lab in the environment, and he was the one who um, was open to that. So I, um, I just asked him to come in a lab, and he let me. And I learned a lot, all the techniques. I really put all my interest, efforts, you know, training Michelle, and then I was really happy that she really gained all that experience. I was able to transmit most of my skills, you know, in the how to do the pipetting, how to do specific techniques that are not taught in, in courses, in, you know, in BMCC courses and in any undergrad courses I've never, never taught. But she was able to, you know, to develop those skills. When I got into the lab, I already had a little bit of experience with um, doing um, techniques and such, but he really taught me how to um, work certain machines that I wasn't able to work with. Um, with my other professors and I learned pipetting techniques uh, very thoroughly because I would do it every day and uh, working on the computer, working with the basically all the machines. He really taught me how to do that very well and I became an expert at it and I started teaching other people in the lab and it just... I trust my students. I'm not really the type of you know, mentor that is always behind the students, seeing if everything is okay, is right or wrong. I, tr I teach them, I t tell them how to do it, what not to do. I watch them a couple of times, and then after that, the student just has to start, like, like a bird, has to start flying. Okay. So right now she's just changing the pH. Uh, using a pH meter, this, uh, this, this instrument is called a pH meter, which is using in chemistry, in college chemistry uh, classes and labs, and it's some, it's, it, it has a probe, and then we just have to change the value of the pH by adding small volumes of acids or, or bases. So you change the pH to the optimum, and then you mix it with the hydrogel, and the hydrogel will do the work to eliminate the, the heavy metal. 
I, when I came to BMCC, I always have encountered that misconception that community college is only for teaching. That's all they do in the, you know, in the community college. But uh, in the school, you know, I, since I'm using this philosophy with the research, we have this, you know, great facility right now, in, which is the research lab. We have another station for, you know, satellite uh, station for research down the hall. So it's two big spaces that, they, that are dedicated only for research. And then that allows the faculty to, to develop something that you might, you know, might work with your students. Some, you know, depending on the, you know, the, the scope, you know, some, some areas are biology, physics, and chemistry. In my case, it's environmental science. And then I, I definitely see that as a, as a, as a route how to also not only do the, my priority, which is teaching, but also share it with, uh, with the research. This wouldn't be possible without the help of the students. The students are really the ones that are driving all this progress in the, in the research. Uh, I've been really lucky to be you know, always part of this, you know, this team with great students. We crave to learn, so we just we want to take everything that they have and we want to learn it also and apply it and then bring it to other places, like how I brought it to Hunter. When I was in the Hunter lab the other day, they told me to like, pipe out a couple of things and they were like, oh, you know this already, you're so well at it. And I was like, yeah, because I did it every day in this lab, so. It's techniques that, it's like basic techniques that you would need basically in every lab, so. Compared to the four-year colleges, yeah, they, they have, a, of course, they have a graduate school, they have, you know, graduate students, but to be honest, you know, if we have the same interests, there's really no, no much difference between doing research in a community college and a, and a four-year college. Mm -hmm.